god, when is Vince McMahon ever going to freaking learn? This is just... Oh, god damn it! What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Quickbait Entertainment. Just got done watching WWE Elimination Chamber, and oh, man. It, this was, like, one of the worst pay-per-views so far I've seen in a while. I just, this is, this pay-per-view is literally everything that I don't like about WWE and Vince McMahon, the way they've been booking this thing. It's just, ah, uh, from the Ronda Rousey cringeworthy contract signing when they kept trying to push the whole... Well, you know, we're not doing it because you're getting special stuff, you know, because you're Ronda Rousey. But at the same time, they're giving her her own segment for a contract signing, and then they just give her a match at Mania. Um, and uh, then the Elimination Chamber was just... You have Braun look like a god in all his strength and might, and then you just have it. You just... Oh, I just... I am... Oh, my God. Uh, and, you know, the WWE can do some predictable, lazy shit, and... um that ending was as predictable as they can get. You know, for the last year, literally, the last year we've been, since the last WrestleMania, when Roman beat The Undertaker, we've been hearing about this rumor of Roman versus Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. I did not think they would go through with it because I thought us as a wrestling community and the WWE Universe would come together and band together and somehow convince that senile old man that nobody likes Roman Reigns and nobody wants to see him in the main event. But, and we had a year to do it. And I thought we got our message across, but apparently we did not. We weren't strong enough. It did not work because, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, at WrestleMania in New Orleans, we we're going to get Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns for the second time. Oh, man. You know, this match better have... Actually, no, because I already know what the stipulation is. Knowing how predictable the WWE is, um, that rumor about, about this being a Hell in a Cell match looks pretty fucking good nowadays because now I can see it happening. And that match is going to be awful because the WWE doesn't utilize the Hell in a Cell like they used to. It's a PG era. They don't let them bleed anymore. You really think they're going to let Brock and Braun... Brock and Braun. I, I wish. God, if it was Brock versus Braun in Hell in a Cell, take my money. Now it's Brock versus Roman Hell in a Cell. Two guys who are very slow, very boring, can't cut a promo to save their lives in the Hell in a Cell. That's supposed to build up the match. Um, I, I don't know if the Hell in a Cell isn't confirmed, but... I would believe everything that comes out, because literally any rumor that comes out about the WWE is usually correct. I just can't believe they went this route. Just so stupid, such lazy booking, and such trying to force this dude down our throats when we've already tasted it several times, not once, several times, no pause, my boy, and we spitted it out already plenty of times. Nobody wants to go to Monday Night Raw the night after WrestleMania and see Roman Reigns come out with the Universal Bell. Dropping the same stupid promo he always drops. I'm not the bad guy. I'm not the good guy. I'm the guy. And this is my yard. And no, I'm the champ. Nobody wants to see that. Everybody is tired of seeing Roman Reigns. You know, it's like they need to build him back up as a mid card. I feel, you know, they need to keep him in that like IC level with the Miz. I would have been fine with these two just going out war with each other for like a couple more months and just building that rivalry. But just throwing him back into the universal title picture is such a lazy... Ah, oh, just frustrating to be a fan of this product, and I just cannot believe they went this route. I just, I knew it was a good chance of happening. I think we all knew it was going to happen. We're not shocked about it, but we're just disappointed because we're like, ah, uh, it's 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 going to happen, but maybe they'll do a little swerve. Maybe we should, like, reconsider our thoughts. Maybe we'll give Vince McMahon the benefit of the doubt, and he will surprise us, and instead of getting Brock versus Roman, which, by the way, probably this video does have highlights of Brock versus Roman the first time they met at WrestleMania, because WWE doesn't release any footage on their YouTube channel until, like, hours, hours later. So I probably won't react to Ronda's contract sign until tomorrow. But anyways, um... They just, it's just such a lazy booking. And maybe that's because Vince McMahon's senile and old, but it's just, I just don't get this fascination. You know, uh, Finn Balor never got his rematch for the belt after coming back from injury. Um, Seth Rollins has been stuck in this stupid tag team division for so long. Braun Strowman, you wasted Brock versus Braun, not once, but twice. And then the second time he threw in Kane for some random stupid fucking reason. Um, Roman is just like, ugh. <coughs> My God, dude. It's just, I thought they learned. I thought we've learned something. I thought, like I said, as a universe, we came together. The WWE universe, we came together and we made our message clear. We don't want Roman as the guy. You know, this company, to make it here, Triple H said it so many times, the crowd is the one that makes it. We made Daniel Bryan. We made CM Punk. We choose who we want. And the reaction for this guy for the last, I don't even know how long it's been, maybe four years now, four or five years, we have all had the same reaction. It has not changed. It has not drifted. The reactions online are like, 
outstanding. Nobody wants to see this match. Nobody wants to see Roman Reigns beat Brock Lesnar. We were tired of Brock Lesnar as well. And I'm a huge Brock Lesnar fan. Don't get me wrong. I love Brock. I think Brock is a phenomenal talent. I wish he goes back to MMA if he isn't taking steroids again. Um, But I love Brock. I've always been a Brock Lesnar fan. I got into wrestling during the ruthless aggression era. So Brock, John Cena, Taker, Biker Taker. Those were my... Eddie Guerrero. Those were my shits. So um, I, I, I fucked with Brock for a long time. And I, I loved Brock. But this whole, you know, being there every six months is kind of annoying. Um, I love him and Paul Heyman. I know the rumor is Brock versus Bobby Lashley after Mania if if um, Brock signs a new contract. But at the end of the day, the fact that Brock has to drop the title to somebody, I just, oh my God, man. <sighs> I'm just realizing that the Universal title has been wasted. It's going to be wasted two Manias in a row. Last year, we got Brock Goldberg, which it should have been Kevin Owens. It should have been Kevin Owens versus Jericho for the Universal title. Um, and this year when we should have got probably Braun versus Brock or even even Seth Rollins versus Brock or hey, even Finn Balor who still has never gotten his rematch versus Brock, we're getting Roman Reigns. So we're getting, we got Goldberg versus Brock and now we're getting um, the new generation version of Goldberg versus Brock this year. Great booking, Vince. You're doing a swell job, man. You're really making the, the universe happy. You're really listening to the people that purchase this product and really consume it. It's been $9.99 on the, on the WWE um, channel, whatever the bullshit is. I, I'm just, I'm living, man. I just cannot believe they went the route they went. It's just, it's the predictability that bothers me the much. It's the fact that we all mentioned it and we all said anyone but Roman, even though we know Roman's going to win. And it still happened. They still didn't change it. They, they, are they I mean, did they not see the reaction Seth Rollins got after all? Huge, huge push for Rollins, man. People were... I dropped that video. People were in the comment section saying that Roman deserves a push. The Roman love... I'm mean, not the Roman. The Rollins. Seth Rollins... I'm sorry. I'm just so out of it right now. The Seth Rollins love has been on fire since Monday. People were pushing for this dude to get a push. We're tired of seeing Seth Rollins, like being used as a tag team pond. Nobody wants to see him versus Jason Jordan at Mania. Nobody wants to see him versus Kurt. I mean, Braun versus Kurt Angle would be nice, but nobody wants to see that. We want to see him in a picture. I'm praying to God because I do have an announcement after this video. I'm praying, praying, praying that um, we get a triple threat match at Mania with Rollins, Roman, and Brock because Roman versus Brock, ladies and gentlemen, Roman versus Brock is the moment during WrestleMania that we could sit up, get up, leave our TVs or laptops wherever we watch WrestleMania at, and go take a big-ass shit or take a giant piss. That's the moment. You know, we could just forget the match. It's going to be a snooze fest. And probably the only way it could be successful is if it's, at, if it's as short as Goldberg versus Brock. That's the only way this match could get any success out of it. Because if it's just this long, board, and I swear, man, if it's the main event, if it's the main event, I will write. Because the only main event that should happen... At WrestleMania this year is AJ versus Shinsuke Nakamura. I swear to God, if Shinsuke and AJ go early just to play, put Brock and Roman last, I will turn off WrestleMania and I will write up on this channel. It's just, it's annoying, man. I am just so, I'm pissed, but I'm, I shouldn't be pissed because this is what we all expected. This is what all, we all knew this bullshit was going to happen. We all, we smelt it. We, we smelt it like the Rock's nose a mile away. The Rock opened his mouth and it just you could smell it. The, it just traveled around the universe, dude. And we all knew this was going to happen, but I think we all had a little bit of hope. A little bit of hope. That's all it takes. And we had that. And we thought for a second, a millisecond, that Vince McMahon wasn't senile. And he actually said, you know what? I'm going to give Finn Balor the chance to go against Brock Lesnar. I'm going to give Seth Rollins the chance. Two athletic wrestlers who could actually put on a good move set, actually have a package of moves that aren't boring and stale, that aren't going to do some stupid boring Superman punch or some stupid spear or that stupid little leg drop from from underneath to the top. It's just... Uh, 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 uh. And not to mention, the whole Ronda Rousey thing, talk about a snooze fest. This girl definitely needs Paul Heyman. She could not cut a promo for her life. And it was just cringy. And, you know, I know the Kurt Angle thing was funny. And, um... Uh, if she would have done like an Arn Anderson spine buster on Triple H onto the table, I would have been cool with it. But it's just, obviously now we know The Rock was obviously too busy for WrestleMania. I'm guessing we're going to get Kurt Angle and Ronda versus Triple H and um, Stephanie. But um, just super boring. One of the worst contract signings ever. I, I, I'm i just not a fan of Ronda Rousey. Never have been, never will be. Obviously that Las Vegas crowd remembers her last MMA fight or her last two MMA fights. So they felt the same way. Um, it's just, I, I just love during the Ronda thing how they were really pushing the whole, like, I don't want special treatment, but yet you're getting special treatment the whole, whole freaking way. Um, the women's elimination chamber match, pretty entertaining. I'm just going to go through the rest of the matches real quick. Um, the 
pretty cool. Alexa Bliss deserves to um, be the champ going into the to the um, WrestleMania. I don't disagree with that. She's one of the best wrestlers right now, female wrestlers in the in the company. So I totally agree with that. Um, Matt Hardy versus Bray Wyatt. I've already lost interest in. It just I, I, for some reason things with Bray. They start off really hot and then they just lose steam immediately. So I'm already kind of over Braun versus um not Braun Bray versus Matt Hardy, that whole thing. Especially the Woken thing. I just wanted to go full deletion and I want Jeff Hardy to be back. I just really don't care about anymore about Braun and um not Braun. I keep mentioning Braun because I wanted Braun to win the match. <sighs> I compose myself. Um Bray versus um Matt Hardy. I really just don't care about that anymore. The tag team match didn't care either. This match, this pay-per-view was pretty bad, man. If I had to give it a rating, I'd probably give it like around a 4 or 5. 4 out of 5. 4 or 5 out of 10 rating right now. Because it's just, it was a snooze fest, my boy. It was just, a lot of it was bad. It started off good. Um, it started off really good. I really wish Nia Jack would have won, actually. Um, I get that they want to make Asuka the whole Goldberg, female Goldberg and all that. And she's probably going to win the match at... um. WrestleMania against Alexa Bliss, but I feel like Nia Jack should get that treatment as well because Nia Jack is money, man. She is like our generation China. She is money. She's a beast. And I feel like they need to use her that way and they haven't used her that way. And it's just, again, it's funny how Vince is like, has like a hard on for real big wrestlers. But when it comes to Nia Jack, he's like, nope. Like, there's, where's the, the I mean, hypocritical much? I mean, goddamn, dude. Uh, the fact that Finn got eliminated and Seth got eliminated and literally Braun Strowman eliminated every single wrestler except Roman Reigns in this match. It's just ah, mind blowing, guys. But anyways, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I just I or four or five out of ten. I'm I'm just supremely disappointed in this main in this pay per view. It just ah, I just can't believe. And the announcement is we are going to Monday Night Raw tomorrow at the Honda Center. I will be there with Mooney. The team of Mojo Jojo is taking over Anaheim and we are gonna be at Monday Night Raw. So you're definitely gonna get some cool footage of us at Monday Night Raw. Definitely gonna drop a vlog live reaction at Monday Night Raw at the Honda Center. Blah, I can't talk in Anaheim. So that's gonna be pretty dope. Um I can't wait to boo my ass off. Uh your boy is gonna be lit when that Roman Reigns trash um music comes out so I could just boo and boo with all my heart and share my pain to the WWE Universe. Um, can't wait to be there. Can't wait to see what happens. It's going to be pretty dope. Anyways, guys, I'm just going to leave it at that. If the Ronda Rousey thing drops, I will react to that tonight as well. Hopefully it does. I'm not sure yet, though. But um, thank you guys for uploads today. Just want to give you my quick review of WWE Elimination Chamber. It was a complete fail. We have been let down, guys. It's time to cancel. I'm just kidding. Don't cancel this network. It, it is what it is. We knew this was going to happen. We failed ourselves by setting ourselves up expectations that were never going to be met. We failed ourselves. But at the same time, this man is seen now. And he also failed us because the dude is just never going to get over this Roman Reigns thing. And I feel like we as a community should just come together and just fake pretend that we like Roman just to get this over with. Because I feel like it's never going to change until Vince sees that the crowd is over and Roman's over and we like him. Let's just fake it to the point where like he's just so over. They just take him away like forever. God damn. And I, I get those people that are going to be like, it's too cool to hate Roman now. No, it's not. He's a boring wrestler. It has boring promos. And I'm sick of it. And I'm sick of Vince McMahon. I just wish Triple H was running everything at this point. And when that day comes, I will be a happy camper. Anyways, Elimination Chamber was a trash pay-per-view. Simple as that. Links and all that down below in the description. Slap the thumb if you like this video. Comment down below. What did you think of Elimination Chamber? You give me your review. What did you think of Elimination Chamber? Was it a fail? Did you like it? Did you like the Ronda Rousey thing? Do you think Roman deserved it? Who do you think deserved to win the Elimination Chamber? Do you think this was a fail? And give me your rating out of 10. What did you rank the Elimination Chamber at? And if you guys like this video and you want to join the clickbait click, all you got to do is subscribe. Slap that subscription button. Join the clickbait click. I will see you guys either later on tonight actually or obviously tomorrow. And again tomorrow we will be at the Honda Center for WWE Monday Night Raw. It's going to be my first ever wrestling event. I am absolutely hyped. And I'll see you guys tomorrow too. Sweet.